The career builder was added to GDA Online back in March this year, and with it brought a fresh new way for players to start their experience, by giving them access to $4 million to spend on a variety of items to help ease their transition into the game. I already covered all of this in my recent beginner's guide, but because that ended up being almost 20 minutes long due to all of the money-making methods I exhibited afterwards, I decided to do a cut-down version that just shows off the career builder itself. If you do find the video useful, be sure to give it a helping hand and tap the thumbs up button down below. After the introduction, you'll be greeted with this screen. You'll see your newly acquired $4 million in the top right hand corner, and you'll now have access to four different business paths, executive, gunrunner, nightclub owner, and biker. Until recently, executive or gunrunner were the go-to, but with the buffs I mentioned earlier, the nightclub is now the number one choice when starting as a new player. In this breakdown I put together, you can see that the Coke Lockup, which is a part of the biker path, requires two expensive upgrades and earns $683 per minute. Then the bunker, which is a part of the gun running profession, also needs two expensive upgrades and makes $964 per minute. But the nightclub at the end there, which only requires the basic upgrade included in the career builder, makes a whopping $1,042 per minute. Now that we've got the facts and figures out of the way, let's get the ball rolling and set you up with a nightclub. As we come into the menu here, you can see that you're given a choice of locations for your new business. You can essentially pick whatever you want from these menus, but keep in mind that from that $4 million that you were given, you can only take $1 million of that into the GDA world. So you need to choose wisely, as we want to have as much cash left over as possible, so that we can quickly start working towards buying a second business that will bring in the real money. With that being said, I highly suggest you go with the Mission Row nightclub. It has great highway access, it's central to everything, and honestly, I've bought a bunch of different locations over the years, and I truly feel Mission Row even beats out some of the more expensive options. From there, you'll need to select an upgrade pack, and this is really just picking the style for your nightclub, and since we're wanting to make money fast, just go with the cheapest one at the end here. As for vehicles, there's really only two choices to consider in my opinion. One is the Karuma here, which is great for beginners and offers amazing bullet protection during missions. But if you want to make money the fastest way possible and be able to take advantage of all the tips and tricks I provide in this video, you'll want to pick the Hikachu Drag towards the end of the list. Then we've got guns, and this one's really simple. You're only going to need two in total. One is the Special Carbine, which is an absolute beast and will be your go-to weapon 99% of the time. But also grab a machine pistol as well. It'll allow you to shoot from a car or a bike, which can be very useful indeed. Then we come to the final money screen, and if you've made the same choices as me, you will have exactly $1 million to take out with you into the world, where if you keep following this guide, you'll be able to re-roll into stacks and stacks of cash in no time at all. Once you're done with the aesthetic stuff in the character creator, you'll then get to assign stats. I'd say focus mostly on shooting, stamina and strength, as they're the most annoying to raise once you start playing. After that, you'll be loaded out into the world, but you're not exposed to other players yet. This is a separate experience for new players at the moment, and what you need to do is make your way out of the police station and simply wait for a text from your mechanic who will deliver your vehicle nearby. Following that, you'll get a text from Lamar who tells you to collect your weapons, so jump on your bike and head over there. You'll see some enemy gang members, but don't worry about them just yet. Simply go over and grab your guns and back up a little bit. Eventually, Lamar will tell you to take them out, but you can jump the gun if you want and do it right away. However it goes down though, just make your escape and get away from the hood. From there, you'll just need to wait for a text from Tony Prince, who will instruct you to get over to your new nightclub. It will place a waypoint on the map, so just follow that until you get there. Once that's all done and dusted, you'll be in the middle of your nightclub and just need to make your way up to the main office, which is upstairs and to the left a little bit. From there, just go over to the computer, sit yourself down, and we can start doing the setups. There are two in total, and they're really easy, so they shouldn't give you any trouble at all. As I mentioned before, you earn money through the popularity of your nightclub. Keep that maintained, and your safe will fill up with $50,000 every in-game day, or 48 minutes real time. The popularity of your nightclub, which is shown in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, will decrease by 5% every time that 48-minute mark hits. And once that's happened twice, your profits will start to go down. So that means you will need to do a promotion mission roughly once every one and a half hours to maintain that 50k profit margin. Luckily, the promotion of your nightclub is really simple, and the missions are so much easier than what you'd be doing if you'd pick the gun running or executive path that we discussed before. To get started, just log back onto the computer in your office and select Promote Club under the Nightclub Management tab. 
There's quite a variety of promotion missions available, ranging in difficulty, but none of them will give you too much trouble. Some of them you'll just need to fly a blimp or a helicopter to promote music or drop flyers. Other times you might need to collect some stolen supplies from some thugs and drive them back to the nightclub. But I mean, they're all pretty straightforward and shouldn't take more than a few minutes in most situations. And yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know for both the career builder and the setup of the nightclub. If you need any extra tips on where to go from here, I'll link my full beginner's guide in the description below, along with any other money-making videos that I think might be useful. But if this one helped you out, be sure to hit the like button for me. And if you're new around here, then definitely think about subscribing as well. I'm a Rockstar Games exclusive channel, and I cover just about everything GDA Online has to offer. Until we meet again, legends, I am Rad Nitrate, and I'll catch you on the next one.